The 3DS is now over three years old, and its game library has never been better. But which games are the best of the best? IGN's resident Nintendo heads recently sat down to settle it once and for all. These are the top 25 Nintendo 3DS games. Nominating a set of four games for our top 25 list might seem like cheating, but we didn't want to overlook the definitive feature of the 3DS. The Street Pass games provide entertainment and silly rewards through a diverse selection of fun minigames. Professor Layton Miracle Mask doesn't offer any surprises if you've played previous installments. It's a puzzle collection housed inside a point-and-click adventure, but Layton delivers a fun story with an amazing hand-drawn style. The vibrant, secret-laden worlds of Donkey Kong Country Returns are surprisingly perfect for portable play. If you somehow missed out on Developer Retro's solid series revival on the Wii, the 3DS provides an adequate alternative that's ready to get up and go with you. Cave Story is a Metroid-like adventure full of exploration, endearing characters, and other surprises. Delightful, whimsical, and curious, this is a retro-style game that begs to be explored. This twisted sequel to 999 on DS is a more devious, more brutal, and more memorable visual novel than the first entry. One unforgettable choice in Virtue's Last Reward becomes the crux of an entire drama. Kid Icarus Uprising brings the classic Nintendo franchise back to life with a challenging rail shooter slash action game hybrid. Your hands will be in agony after a few hours of play, but you'll find that Uprising is easily one of the best looking games on the 3DS. Each towering foe in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is an endurance trial that demands coordinated teamwork. The reward? Some of the best team-based gameplay on the 3DS, along with the ability to craft cool gear to boot. If you're familiar with the Shin Megami series, you already know what you're getting. A hardcore RPG with outstanding potential thanks to the customization of the Demon Fusion system. Resident Evil Revelations brought the series back to its creepy, atmospheric roots. This unassuming installment gave the 3DS its first portable blockbuster and compressed a tense survival game into a portable-friendly, episodic format. Star Fox 64's upgraded visuals reinvigorate classic Nintendo 64-era polygons. The end result might not seem like much, but all of Star Fox 64's best elements are still here memorable yet silly voice acting, great level design and pacing, and a stunning trip through fantastic dogfights in outer space. Don't be fooled by Pushmo's cute and colorful visuals. Intelligent Systems' eShop Puzzler starts off friendly enough, but as you progress through the 250 plus stages, you'll find a surprisingly deep collection of genuinely brain-breaking puzzles. In SteamWorld Dig, you power up a robot hero by finding and collecting hidden items, opening up a sprawling game map as you progress. The genius twist is that you explore the environment by mining into the Earth itself, building your own unique in-game map filled with tunnels, mineshafts, teleporters, and plenty more. Etrian Odyssey 4 continues the tradition of great dungeon crawlers. It's definitely a hardcore gamer's game, but this inviting sequel will help novices learn the intricacies of the series. The money-hungry premise sitting at the root of New Super Mario Bros. 2 is a genuine shake-up for this tried-and-true platforming series. But this sequel does more than simply throw money around. In fact, New Super Mario Bros. 2 delivers the reliable, fun platforming you expect from a quality Mario game and adds a dash of challenging new ideas. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is a fully-fledged sequel that reunites everyone's favorite green-clad hero with Professor E. Gadd in the Poltergust. Dark Moon has the same hilarious tone of the first game and gives players a solid portable game that includes cooperative ghost hunting via online multiplayer. 
showcasing exceptional new ideas along with refined concepts from Square's golden age of RPGs, Bravely Default is a reminder that Japanese RPGs have a unique flair and vision that makes them unforgettable. The beauty of Mario Golf is that anyone can pick it up and learn to play. World Tour builds on this simplicity and packs in excellent challenges and multiplayer modes to keep you playing on the links for hours. Guess what? Mario Kart is awesome every time it's released. With that in mind, it's easy to write off Mario Kart 7 as the expected, polished product it was. But in doing so, you'd be writing off one of the 3DS's best titles. Shovel Knight is an excellent 80s nostalgia tribute from developer Yacht Club Games. It cops classic design ideas, but also creates a memorable game that can stand on its own. Nintendo's quintessential launch game for the 3DS, The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time 3D, molded the 1998 original to fit more modern standards. Sporting an updated visual style and a handful of gameplay tweaks split across two screens, Nintendo and co-developer Grezzo added a fresh layer of dimension to a game many already considered a masterpiece. People will look back at Pokemon X and Y as the start of a possible renaissance period for Nintendo's popular franchise. It shook up the competitive metagame with the new fairy type, and it streamlined Pokemon's core systems to make battling, breeding, and training more accessible than ever. Last summer, Animal Crossing New Leaf turned half of IGN's editors into incoherent weirdos. Fruit, fish, and furniture were the only topics of discussion, and that made other editors extremely irritable. Animal Crossing is a game about collecting, arranging, and showing it all off to friends and frenemies alike. Fire Emblem has come and gone before, but Awakening is a special chapter in the series. On the one hand, it offers up a top-notch strategy RPG with fun characters, witty dialogue, and a deep battle system. And on the other, it offers up dealing with difficult choices and the stress of permadeath. The end result is an absolutely stunning combination. Super Mario 3D Land doesn't simply deliver another solid platformer for a Nintendo handheld. It was the first game on the 3DS to successfully implement its impressive stereoscopic 3D as a meaningful part of the gameplay. Super Mario 3D Land epitomizes what's so great about Nintendo's design credo to make games that best utilize the platform they're built on. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds takes us back in time to one of the most influential games from the Super Nintendo era. But revisiting Zelda A Link to the Past is just a cheap parlor trick once you realize the real intent behind Link Between Worlds nostalgia trip. The Zelda team is slowly kicking the tires of the franchise and looking at new ways to captivate players with brand new ideas and inventions. Which of these 3DS games is best in your book? Leave a comment below and let us know. And be sure to check back soon for more Top 25 lists right here on IGN.